Hi, I'm AJ Piscor, Combustion and Control Specialist for Lessman Instrument Company, and today we're going to review the Maxon Series 5000 shutoff valve, and we're going to listen to the valve so that we can hear if any of the electrical components uh, has failed or needs to be replaced. So with the 5000 valve, there are three electrical components uh, that can be replaced in the field. You've got the motor operator for your automatic reset valves, you have the solenoid assembly pictured here, and then you have the switch set. This is the valve open switch, and up on the top of the bracket behind here is the valve close switch. Now the valve open switch, solenoid, and motor all work in concert with each other uh, to open the valve, and we'll go through an opening cycle now so that you can listen to what it sounds like as well as see the internal components. So when we review how that valve opened, we heard a snap, and that was the solenoid pulling in. At the same time, we heard the hum of the motor, and that hum changed as soon as the motor started pushing against the return spring. It changed its frequency. And I'll play it, I'll shut the valve off and play it back for you again so you can hear the distinction. So now what I will do is I will unhook one of the three electrical components, we'll try cycling the valve again, and we'll see if you can identify which component has failed. So we've unhooked one of the three devices, let's see which one has failed. So what we can hear is we can hear and see the solenoid physically pulling in but what we don't hear or see is the motor operating. So in this scenario, the motor operator has failed. Now I'm going to hook the motor back up but change one of the other components. All right, let's see what's not working now. Well, we definitely hear the motor operating, and we can see the motor operator is spinning the cam assembly on the inside. But what we see and also do not hear is a solenoid pulling in. So in this example, the solenoid's not working. You can see that as I power it on, that plunger has not engaged into the solenoid assembly. The other thing that we can also hear to know that is the solenoid assembly is we don't hear that change in the pitch of the motor when it's working against that return spring. So the last component that could fail is the valve open switch. Now the valve open switch shuts the motor off, so we're going to hear what the valve sounds like if the motor continues to run. And what I did is I deflected the actuator one. Now this could happen in the field, but very unlikely. Um, but if this gets deflected or this switch fails, this is what it'll sound like. So what we had is the valve just cycled over and over and over again. It actually physically goes open, but then it goes closed right away. And if you see this happening, you can see it um, on the visual indicator window. That'll show open, then shut, open, then shut. Um, but you can also hear for it as well. You hear the change in the pitch on the motor. Um, the first thing that you would want to look at is that VOS switch to make sure that either this wand is engaging the uh, actuator band or sorry, you want to make sure that this wand is in engaging the actuator pin or that this switch has not failed. If you have any questions or you need replacement components or entire shutoff valve assemblies, please feel free to give us a call or contact us at the information below. And thanks for watching.